Okay, I think I'm going to spin chicks on me. Today we're going to be doing a reaction of the Mandela Effect. It's something new that everybody's been crazy on TikTok and you can remember stuff which you, which you, which you know it was there and stuff like that. So my wife freaked out and um, yeah. So um, yeah, reaction video, Mandela Effect, let's go. People are sharing examples of how they remember things being a certain way, but then finding out they were wrong the whole time. Some say this is evidence of parallel universes colliding, or proof that we're all living in a giant simulation. I will let you guys mm. decide that. I'm just here to show you things that will make you question your own memory. I'm Danny Burke, and this is yeah, I do have my memory. Mandela Effect examples. Starting off at number ten now, we have Luke. I am your father. It's probably the most what? Hmm. I'm not sure about that. I watch, I watch, I watch, I watch that movie like, like a million times, and that's 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 one of my favorite old school movies. So, hmm. We'll see. We'll see about that. I think he said, Luke, I am your father. Um, oh well, moving on. For nine now, we have Uncle Pennybax. You guys know the board game Monopoly, right? I want yeah. you to try and picture now what the Monopoly man looks like. Is he wearing a monocle? Well, that's only in your imagination, because Uncle Pennybax has never worn a monocle. Now, when I first heard this one, I had to go and personally check my own copy of Monopoly, and I still can't quite believe it. All right, at number eight now, mirror, mirror on the wall. I'm sure we all know this famous line from Snow White. The queen turns to her magic mirror and says, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? Nope. She didn't. She never said that in the movie. She actually said, magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? Mm. I don't know where we got that other line from, but I'm a little creeped out. Moving on to number seven now, we have Jiffy. Even if you guys don't... Yeah. I'm going to look that up. <clears throat> so, um, i show you what you guys can think about that. Yeah. Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? Is so, you guys, did she, did she say mirror, mirror on the wall? I don't know. Move on.
don't like peanut butter, I'm pretty sure you've all heard of Jiffy Peanut Butter, right? Probably one of the most famous brands on the planet, except it's never existed. You're probably thinking of Jif. For some reason, a lot of people swear blind that it's called Jiffy. Even the people who put Jif peanut butter on their toast every morning will tend to call it Jiffy. If you're one of those people, I'm sorry to shatter your peanut butter world like this. All right, at the number six spot now, we have Tim. Yeah, I think this one creeps I think me. This is Jiffy. If any of you guys are around my age or older, I'm sure you will remember a Disney intro that featured Tinkerbell. You know the one where she flew across the screen before the movie started and dotted the eye with her wand before sending an explosion of sparkles tumbling down over the Disney castle. You remember? I remember. Well, apparently history doesn't yeah, I remember that too. nobody can seem to find a single example of this actually happening. Ever. And this one isn't just a few people remembering this, it's millions. And it always seems to be the exact same details. I'd love for someone to explain this one to me because I'm a little bit concerned that we're all going mad. Coming in at number five now, we have We Are The Champions. I'm sure many of you guys will have heard We Are The Champions by Queen. It no, no, no. Th that's one of my favorite old school songs. Don't mess me, don't mess me up with this now. It's played every time anyone wins anything, and we all like to have a good sing-along with it. You know the ending of it, right? We are the champions, we are the champions, no time for losers, because we are the champions, and that's where it ends. There is no of the world, like people usually sing. I did not believe this one, but if you go and listen to the actual song, it's true. It does appear earlier on in the song, so maybe that's where people are getting confused. <laughs> Classic chocolate. <sighs> wow. That's amazing. Bar, isn't it? Now, I want you guys to write Kit Kat in your head. Was there a dash between the two words? That's yeah. how I picture a Kit Kat bar too, with a little dash in between the kit and the cat. But we invented that, apparently. There has never been a dash between the two words. Some people think they imagine the dash because other phrases have it. Other people say that's wrong and they swear blind that their favorite chocolate bar's name has somehow changed wow. over the years. Coming at number three now, we have Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa is one of the most famous paintings of all time. Millions of people recognize it, so you'd think that somebody would notice if it changed. A lot of people claim that years ago, Mona Lisa used to look kind of glum, with just a little flicker of a smirk on her lips. Nowadays, they say she has changed. Now, she's just straight up smiling. Some scientists say this is an optical illusion based on what angle you view the painting from. But... ...in over the years. Okay, next up at number two now, we have King Henry the VIII. Okay, um, I'm kind of 50 50 on the Mona Lisa one because, yeah, anyways, that picture used to freak me out, freak me out as a kid, so yeah, <laughs> moving on. This is King Henry VIII, the fat king of England, who famously married, divorced, and beheaded a number of his <laughs> wives. He's also famous for that portrait of him standing with one leg up on a stool and eating a turkey leg. I'm sure a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about, except, you guessed it, it's never existed. You can see many modern examples of his picture based on a portrait that has simply never existed. And finally, number one now, we have Forrest... Mm, yeah, I have no idea what that guy is talking about, so... Anyways, moving on. Gump. Tom Hanks' award-winning role as Forrest Gump is a movie full of memorable scenes and quotes, but if you've seen it, you'll know that one line is the most famous of them all. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know which one you're gonna get. Well, the actual line is life was like a box of chocolates, past tense. For some reason, everyone, myself included, remembers it as life is like a box of chocolates. I can even hear him saying it in my head. Even Google suggests life is, not life was, when you're looking up this quote. Maybe Google has also been fooled by the Mandela effect. All right, guys, I want you to let me know in the comments section if you can relate to any of these, or if you have any good Mandela effect examples yourself. I've got one. For example, did you guys always think I was called Banny Dirk? I used to. My name <laughs> is Danny Burke. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you all in the next video.
All right, about the Forrest Gump one. Um, yeah, I think it's a life is about the chocolates. Um, because who says life was? Has passed since so. Life was about the chocolates. That would make sense. Okay, all right. Let's see, Mandela effect. Hmm. Weird. I think I think some stuff is in your mind or whatever, and um, some things you can't hear, like the Star Wars thing. I think he said, Luke. Luke, Luke, I am, I am your father. That's what I think. Um. So yeah. Um. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. You see more OPRs, reviews, playthroughs, reactions, and I'll see you guys there. Peace out.